Hi guys, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all having a good day. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you my latest and greatest project. Here it is. All right, so this is it. This is a golf cart that they have chopped up, cut up, and hammered right to the ground. They made it look like a rat rod by using part of the, uh, the, go, the golf cart piece right here. It even still says easy go golf cart. The ST model, this was a gas engine model. Unfortunately, we don't have the engine that came with this go-kart. Or I keep calling it a go-kart, but it was a golf cart. So we don't have the engine that came with this golf cart when it was, you know, still a golf cart. So right now, I always keep calling it a go-kart because it, it really is. They hammered it, they got it low, and they actually did a really good job. I love what they did with this thing. I had to finish a few things up they didn't complete, like some of the welds and everything, but other than that, it's pretty good. Like, they made it where everything is, you can unbolt it right here. I could lift this thing up off the ground if I wanted to. Anything I want to do to it. So, oh, also it has, it also even has like this little switch right here so I could put it in reverse or whatever I want to do. I had it for about a week. I just been collecting parts for it so I could show you guys all the stuff I want to do to it. So, obviously there's a few things that need fixed on, you know, the, golf cart slash go-kart itself. I had to finish a few welds on it, which I actually had to buy a welder. I didn't want to take it to my dad's and we welded up there or whatever. I got a cheap Harbor Freight welder. You know, I was like, you know what? 100 bucks for a Harbor Freight welder is perfect. All right, so there's actually a few things I already bought for this golf cart slash go-kart. One of the biggest things I had to figure out was what engine I wanted to use. Now, everybody in the world has done this. They've used a Predator 212 from Harbor Freight which isn't a bad deal. Right now I could get one for 120 bucks, right? A three quarter inch shaft. I already have a torque converter I bought a long time ago. Um, if you don't know, uh, actually I'll go get it right now. This will fit a Predator 212 and I'd have a torque converter. This is a torque converter that I believe has a, uh, looks like a uh, 420 chain sprocket and stuff, but I could change the sprockets I believe right here. I got some, yeah. I can change the sprockets. I mean, it's got everything. I got the torque converter. I got a sprocket, a, like a 72 tooth giant sprocket. I got a seat. I got a few things. Oh, I got a chain too. Where's the chain? And I got about like 40 freaking feet of chain here. I'm not quite sure how big it is. It's giant. It's a lot of chain and it's the 420 chain. Um, I got the 420 sprocket on here. I got everything for this. Something inside me said, don't use this. I might save this for a later project. I want to I have a little project in mind with all this stuff. I, it came with a seat, everything. I'm definitely gonna save that for a later date, all this stuff. I'm really wanting to do a do-it-yourself cheap go-kart. I got an engine for this thing sitting, well, right behind me pretty much. It's actually right there. All right, so here's the engine right here. This is a Briggs & Stratton, eight horsepower. So flathead Briggs & Stratton. Has no spark, it hasn't ran in a while, but you know what, for 20 bucks, how can you go wrong with eight horsepower? The one problem I have with it right now that I can see is gonna be a problem is I'm gonna have to buy a one inch clutch, which really isn't that big of a deal, but this is a one inch shaft engine, so you're gonna need a one inch clutch. It has a nice metal gas can, which I've, I've been putting some gas in it, so hopefully it soaks up in there and all that stuff, so it cleans out all the, the grime and the varnish, which there's a lot of varnish in the tank. This is what makes it really cool. A rack and pinion steering system for this thing. And I wasn't sure how well that was gonna work. I was looking at really how far the wheels turn on this thing and they turn really sharp. I'll show you how sharp these wheels actually turn. So if you base this off right here and I turn this thing like that, and that was probably about three inches of travel, which if you look, that is some angle. This thing's gonna slide if it has some serious power, it would slide all over the place. And then this one turns just as sharp. I mean, that thing is, I mean, that is really, that's a sharp turn you can make on this thing, which will be really fun when you wanna do a corner really quick. But the rack and pinion will actually, I believe, allow that to do that kind of a sharp turn, which is really cool. It turns about three inches to make the wheel turn that much, so it's gonna be really good. I'll show you what I mean by that when we get into doing the steering system. The kit also came with a steering shaft, which universal shaft, which I'll have to extend, I'm sure. A steering wheel mount, which bolts to the shaft, and those shaft bolts to the rack and pinion, and a steering wheel. 
So when the guy gave me the golf cart slash go-kart, he gave me the original gas pedal to this thing. So I was like looking at like, okay, yeah, I'm sure I can do something with this. It turns out I can do something with it. It has a cable on it, pretty long cable right here that actually works. And the funny thing is the Briggs and Stratton does not have a, a return spring. So it'll actually hold right here if I, that's full throttle. It holds full throttle. So it needs a spring loaded cable. Without the golf cart gas pedal is spring loaded. As you can see, it has a spring right here. And if you floor it all the way floored, it'll spring load back. Very powerful spring. And let me know what you guys think of this. I actually really like this project. I really hope it goes somewhere. Right now I'm gonna actually go through the engine and figure out what I gotta do to it and why there's no spark and everything and cleaning the tank and all that stuff. You know what you guys think if you wanna see a video of me doing a like $50 or $150, uh, we'll say $150 go-kart. How to make it yourself. You know what, This does, I already have a $100 welder, so it's cheap. I'm gonna try to make this a budget build go-kart for the next go-kart of the channel. Let me know what you guys think about that. What do you wanna see me do with this rat rod of a golf cart slash go-kart? Let me know what you think, I wanna know. I wanna put white walls, red wheels, you know, maybe flat black with some red stripes on it or whatever, or maybe just let it rust, who knows. Um, so thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video and we'll be getting that Briggs and Stratton running and I'll show you little tricks about how to get that fired up. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.